but let's just see 360 stitches per row i think i've got and that's our 720 stitches and 15 minutes that's 48 stitches a minute which is not that fast i can knit twice as fast as that when i put my mind to it If you're new here, my name is Anakin. I design knitting patterns, I teach knitting workshops online and in person, and I sell yarn through my website yarnaddict.co.uk. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Um, I will link the video I did last summer on how much I knit in a week. I'll link that below this video and also at the end. So if you didn't watch that and you fancy seeing it, you can go and watch it. Last summer I recorded a video on how much I knitted in a week. So for a whole week I started my timer on my phone every time I sat down to knit and every time I took a pause to scroll on social media or go to the toilet or get a drink or whatever I would pause it and then start it again when I started knitting. And I kept track of how much I knitted in a week and I must admit the result was quite surprising. I thought I knitted for several hours every day. I think the most I knitted in a single day in that week was like two and a half hours. Over the whole seven days, I did 18 and a half hours, which is, let's just see how much that is on average. So that's an average of 150 eight minutes or just under two hours a day so that's not a lot really considering the fact that this is my full-time job and I said at the time because I recorded it in the summer I said at the time that I will do this again in the winter and I actually thought about doing it in February I got to the point where I thought I really need to do this video again but then I caught Covid and I wasn't sure whether how well I was going to be I thought I might get a lot of knitting done the week I caught COVID or I might feel rough and not get a lot of knitting done so I didn't film it that week. I did actually not feel too bad when I had COVID and I worked most days or I worked a little bit every day I think and I did quite a lot of knitting that week. So it probably would have been a good week to film but obviously I wasn't sure when I tested positive how well I was going to feel so I didn't. Then after that my mother-in-law was um, became seriously ill she was put on end of life care and then passed away two weeks later I think and then we had preparations for the funeral all that kind of stuff going on then I went to Norway I thought about doing it while I was in Norway but it's not really accurate of like an average week for me so now I'm back from Norway and it's the start of a new week it is Easter this week so it's not a normal week um but I, it's Monday today I'm working as normal today Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday and then Friday is good Friday, so I'm taking Friday off. Saturday and Sunday I would normally have off anyway. So I thought, well, it's only really one day this week that I won't be working at all, which is Friday. So I thought, well, let's do it this week because otherwise after Easter we get into, I have a couple of workshop, couple of weeks with workshops and then we get into um, Wonderwall and things like that. So I thought, let's just do it this week before winter is completed. So, so far today, it is lunchtime now. Um, I'm just waiting for a video to uh, save and then I'm going to go and have lunch because it is nearly one o'clock. I took a break mid-morning and probably about half an hour, just over half an hour break, I knitted 11 minutes out of that break. <laughs> Not good. So let me show you what I'm actually knitting at the moment. Um, I am waiting for some yarn to arrive for a design for a magazine and when that arrives I won't be able to share what I'm knitting. Um, I can still time myself but I won't be able to show you what I'm knitting. Um, I'd hoped it would arrive while I was in Norway because I chased it up before I went to Norway. It hasn't arrived yet um, so I've chased it up again this morning so I'm hoping it'll be here so I can start before the weekend because the deadline's only like a couple of weeks away and it's um quite a big design so I need to get cracking on it but I'm currently working on my pixie yarns cardigan so that's hang on that's what it looks like it's knitted from the top down all in one piece um when I came back from Norway last week I was there where that marker is so I haven't knitted a lot since I came back so I came back on Thursday quite late then I didn't do a lot on Friday because I was so tired. I did a little bit of knitting, but not a lot. Then I was teaching all day Saturday and I didn't do a lot of knitting in the evening. 
and I didn't do a lot of knitting yesterday either. So basically, since I came back from Norway, I've not done a lot of knitting. So this is what I knitted this morning in the 11 minutes. So I put that blue marker in. So I knitted uh, three rows. Um, No, two rows, I think it was. One and a half row, because it was halfway through the row when I started. So, um, but these rows are very long. I can't remember how many stitches, but I've got a feeling it's like 300 stitches. So this is my priority project till the yarn arrives for my deadline design, because I really want to finish that. And the other design I'm working on, which I also want to finish, is this cowl. I'm not going to talk a lot about this cowl now. I need to basically take it off the needles this afternoon, block it because I want to check the size and a few other details, design details before I decide whether I'm happy with it and or not. If I am happy with it, I should be able to finish it once it's dry. If I'm not happy with it, then there's going to be a lot of unraveling to do and some decisions to be made. So those are the projects I'm working on at the moment. Mm -hmm. I will check in every day and tell you how much knitting I've been doing. And I'll also talk about the projects I'm working on throughout the week. It is Tuesday morning, or nearly lunchtime actually, it's 10 to 12. Um, I've just filmed my podcast for this week. Um, I don't think I'm going to, I was hoping to um, edit it today, but we're going out soon, so I may actually um, log off and not do any more work today. Um, I was writing a pattern earlier as well, so I might try and finish that and then log off because we are going out this afternoon but let me show you what i was knitting yesterday so i was knitting on my pixie yarns cardigan yesterday i think i said i've ordered more yarn which i'm hoping will arrive soon so i have knitted from that blue marker so that is two four six eight ten twelve fourteen six fifth sixteen seventeen rows That's 6,120 stitches. So I felt like I didn't get a lot of knitting done yesterday. I've knitted two of those rows today. So I knitted um, the 15 yesterday and two today. So I didn't feel like I got a lot of knitting done yesterday. But I have done quite a bit, I think. So I'm going to move my marker up because um, I like to keep a marker where I start for the podcast every week. We are going out this afternoon. My daughter has to go to Plymouth. So we've decided because the weather is dry today and sunny spells on and off. We've decided we're going to go to Plymouth this afternoon, so my husband and I are both finishing work soon to go to Plymouth. And I am going to take my husband's socks with me. So I haven't knitted on these since I went to Norway, and I want to try and finish them, really. Um, It is Wednesday after lunch and I have just had my lunch break. I'm back into my office to do some more work. Did a bit of work this morning, a um, bit of admin stuff and then I went to Pilates, came back, had lunch. Um, haven't done a lot of knitting today. I think I've done one row on my cardigan, which I did during my morning break before I went to Pilates. But I did do quite a bit of knitting yesterday. So... Um, on Monday I did two hours. I don't know if I said that yesterday, but I did two hours on Monday. Yesterday I did two and a half hours. So most of that was on this cardigan. We went to Plymouth yesterday because my daughter wants to go to the hospital in Plymouth to give blood. So while she was giving blood, I did a bit of knitting. I didn't do a lot because um, I was also doing my Spanish Duolingo practice. Uh, so I did that first and then I did um, a bit of knitting. So I didn't do much, but few rounds on my sock, um, my orange sock, as you've seen in the video, and uh, not enough really to bring it upstairs to show you, but I managed to do a few rounds, and then when we are in Plymouth, we were shopping afterwards, I didn't do anything. Today I've only done one row on this, um, that's how much I did yesterday, oh can you see that, there's a green one there, and blue one there, that monkey marker is where I put the marker in after I filmed my podcast yesterday. Just gonna try and find a tape measure. We have a tape measure. Okay, so I thought I actually last night uh, put it on the table and measured it because I thought I must be getting close to the full length. When I was in Norway last week, when I had five days left of my holiday, I measured. I tried it on. I got my mum to measure the length I wanted it, and I worked out if I did eight 
centimeters a day I could finish it while I was still in Norway well I didn't do that I did I think the most I did was like four centimeters anyway I think I've got like 50 about 15 centimeters left so I'm just going to measure how much I did yesterday so yesterday oh I thought maybe I did like four centimeters yesterday I did not I did like two and a half so yeah two and a, just under three centimeters um I think I did about the same number of rows yesterday as I did the day before. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 rows yesterday. I think I did 15 or 17 or something the day before. So similar. I really would like to finish this by the end of the Easter weekend. Um, I'd like to finish the whole thing, not just the length. I'd also like to finish knitting the button band and the sleeves. So, yeah, I've got about 15 centimetres, I think, left to do. So... If I could do five centimeters a day, then I could finish that on it's Wednesday day on Friday by the end of Friday, and then I should be able to do the rest over the weekend, especially as a three day weekend. So we'll say by the end of Monday. So that's my goal, but I don't know whether I can do that or not. It is Thursday uh, mid morning. I knitted for three hours and three minutes yesterday. Monday was two hours, Tuesday was two and a half hours, I think, and yesterday was three hours and three minutes. And I got quite a lot done. So let me show you. So ignore the monkey market because that's where I got to when I started my podcast on Tuesday. Um, so from there, where the green marker is to where the blue marker is up here was what I knitted um, Tuesday. So that was 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 rows. And then from that blue marker to the yellow marker is what I knitted yesterday. So that was 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26 rows. So that was quite a lot. Let's just measure it and see how much it is in centimetres because I was trying to go for 10 centimetres. It was, oh, nearly. nearly four and a half centimeters so that's not bad let's just also see how much i've knitted since i put a marker in when i filmed my podcast this week on tuesday because i decided then that i probably need another 15 centimeters so let's see how much i've knitted since then so i've knitted about seven and a half centimeters since tuesday um so i think i needed about 15 centimeters so we've got another about seven ish centimeters to go i'll probably see how much i can get knitted today and then i this evening or tomorrow i will put all the stitches on a barber cord again and um try it on it's about an hour later and the post has arrived and my yarn from pixie yarn has arrived now i don't think these are one-offs i might be wrong oh i think this one is so i think this is the show special for the east anglia yarn festival which was a few weeks ago and it's the same sock yarn i've used for the other one superwash merino nylon love that color isn't that gorgeous and then i also got this one because i thought that one in the photo looked similar to the one of the ones i used for the main color so let me see if I can show you. It's not that easy because obviously it's been mixed up because I've been doing stripes. So the one I used for the main colour up here. So if I it's probably easier to see it in this purple section. So the purple rows were uh, one of the solid mini skeins or semi-solid mini skeins. And the ones, the bluey ones in between, and also here in this green lime green section, the blue variegated one in between looks very similar to that so i'm now wondering whether i should wind this up i can't believe i'm saying this but i feel so i ran up out of the other variegated color around here after this um bright green yellow section i've knitted all that and i'm wondering whether i should um unravel that and use that instead i'm not very keen to do that to be perfectly honest uh, because I don't really want to re-knit that section because that's basically like all the knitting I've done since I came back from Norway I think now it's most of the knitting I've done this now it's actually just the knitting I've done in the last couple of days so I don't know what to do now 
what I might do is, because um, it's not exactly the same, but I think it looks a bit more similar. So I am seriously thinking about unraveling and striping this one with the mini skeins like I really did further up. What I might do is um, wind this up this afternoon. I have another swatch I need to knit this afternoon with this yarn. I think I'll wind this and I might just knit a couple of rows where I am and see how it fits in with the mini skeins and how we would see if I can work out how we would look with the yarn further up. I am considering unraveling basically everything I've knitted in the last two days. I don't know. I'll have to think about it while I'm having lunch and run some errands. But that is gorgeous. I also think that these two colours look really nice together. And I could imagine doing something with these two together. Maybe a shawl or something. I haven't done a shawl for a while. Anyway. Decisions to make. I'm going to take this one downstairs for me when I have lunch and think about it, wind this up and see what I decide to do. Friday, happy Easter. Obviously, you won't see this last for Easter, but good Friday today. I did decide to rip back yesterday. I wound this new ball from or skein from Pixie Yarns. Once I wound it, I can see it's a lot darker than the skein I used as my kind of variegated main yarn further up. Um, it wasn't the same colorway um, because the first one was a uh, one off, but it is a lot darker. But I really like it. I ripped out quite a lot ripped out 44 rows basically back to where i was at the beginning of the week when i filled my no tuesday i think when i filled my podcast um 44 rows 360 stitches a row that's 15,840 stitches i ripped back so i started again so i basically ripped back to where that green marker is which is only like two rows up from where I was on Tuesday when I filled my podcast, Tuesday morning that is. Um, so I did last night, I did two, four, six, eight, ten. We're in contacts and I need reading glasses, really. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Um, is that ten and a half rows? So that's 3,570 stitches. So I'm not even a third back to where I ripped off. I'm hoping, um, as is a day off today, to get quite a bit of knitting done. Um, I was expecting some yarn to arrive for magazine design, which is actually due week after next. Um, it, there's no way it's going to get done on time because the yarn's not here. Um, but I was hoping that would arrive before the weekend so I could get started on it this weekend, but it hasn't arrived. So obviously I can't start on that. So I'm going to dedicate as much time as possible to this over the weekend. And see if I can at least get the body finished. At least now with this new yarn I won't need all of this for the body so what I'm going to do is finish the body and then probably use this for the sleeves possibly on its own maybe if I have any mini skeins left um, alternate skeins like I've um, done on the body if not I'll just use this for the sleeves and probably also the button band so I now don't have any worries about running out of yarn so at least that's a good thing. Um, we're about to go out soon, so I'm uh, going to the local town of Foy, I think. The weather is a bit showery today, sunny, kind of moment, bit of bit of cloud, but it's showery. So I'm going to take my knitting with me. I'm going to take Simon's sock with me because I can clip that bag to my small crossbody bag. And then if we go in and get a drink somewhere or anything, I can do a bit of knitting. Um, so I would like to finish that soon as well but my main priority is to get this finished it 
it is saturday and i got loads of knitting done yesterday we went out yesterday we went to foy um which is another cornish town seaside town it's lovely wasn't as busy as i expected to be we were there for like a couple hours and we went into a coffee shop had a drink and a little bit to eat and i bought some sock and i knitted a few rounds on that i knitted on it for about half an hour in total but I wasn't knitting as intensely as I do at home because I was looking at the menu we were ordering and chatting and stuff like that. So I've got a few rounds done, but I'll show you that at the end of the week when I do my weekly roundup. Um, but I did get a lot of knitting done on my cardigan yesterday. So I am back past the bit where I ripped out. So I've done half an hour knitting today. That was all in the middle of the night. Well, about four o'clock this morning because I couldn't sleep. So I got up at four in the morning. Um, then I went back to bed about half past six. I spent some of it doing some um, googling some various things and so looking at various things online stuff that I needed to look up so not just scrolling social media um, but I, I've stopped in the middle of the road so last night I stayed up quite a bit later last night probably like an hour later than normal um, so I got to last night to the point where I ripped out so I think I said yes so I got to the point where I ripped out so I've done 166 rows I think it was from the underarms when I ripped out so I got back to that last night and then this morning when I was awake at four in the morning which I'm counting as part of today's so I've done two four six so yesterday I did Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, two, and two, ten, four, and six, twenty, eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four. Thirty-four rows yesterday. It's a great knitting day yesterday. That's um twelve thousand two hundred and forty stitches. So I'm back to where I was when I ripped out. So it took me two days to get back to where I was. So that's good. So how much how far have I knitted? Hang on. So uh since Tuesday which is when I measured this and worked out what how much I need to knit to get the length I want I have knitted a total of hang on nearly 11 centimeters so I've got four more centimeters to knit and then I need to put it on a bob cord and try it on again and see if it's long enough because I don't want to make it too long I am a bit worried because it is garter stitch um garter stitch tends to stretch a little bit and so does a uh, superwash yarn it is um four plies it's not too heavy if this was knitted in garter stitch in dk yarn in my size it'd be really really heavy um but and it would stretch more but this is sock yarn so it's less it hasn't got the weight so far i've used i think less than 300 grams the whole thing is probably about 400 grams it's not like super heavy but i'm really glad i changed to this new yarn i got um from pixie yarns this one is definitely a bit darker than the original color i used but i'm really glad i changed to that because it blends in so much better so if i can show you so i can't remember exactly where i was because i've woven in the ends um and oh yeah i was here here yeah, here is where I was when I started knitting with this colour, where that green marker is. And you can't really, because you, because it's striping with the other colours, I don't think you can really tell that the variegated colour now is a little bit um, darker. So I should now have more than enough to finish the body, do the button band and the sleeves. I'm probably going to, when I finish the body, do the button band first and then do the sleeves last, so that if I do run out, I can um do three quarter length sleeves because i'm not sure that i want long sleeves anyway and because i am a little bit worried about this stretching i might do three quarter length sleeves so that if it stretches a little bit it's not a problem um that's why i also might be a little bit conservative on the length i'll take proper measurements when i finished it wear it a few times and then see how much it stretches so i think i'm gonna have to move it out of this bag because i'm really struggling to fit it in this bag now um i was thinking about putting into my new um Janie Crow bag but I can't see it I don't know where I put it I will look for that in a minute and I'll probably move this into my new Janie Crow bag I like this bag because I can put it on the floor and then just knit out of it um I'm less keen to put a fabric bag on the floor I'll be okay the next couple of days because my husband is hoovering today so the floors will be clean but because we have a dog and things like that and we're not very good at hoovering all that frequently they do tend to get a little bit dirty 
so I'm going to go and uh, film a video now um which will be out in a couple of weeks probably and we're having a quiet day today Emily's gone back to Wales she took the dog with her last night so we haven't got to walk, walk the dog or anything today and then tomorrow my other daughter Vanessa is coming home and she's bringing the dog back with her but I don't think she'll be able to leave things so we've got a day without a dog today and tomorrow so we're planning a quiet day at home today so hopefully I will get a lot of knitting done so I come upstairs to try on this cardigan uh, obviously I'm going to knit a button band all the way around so I will make it a little bit smaller here and pull this together a bit I've just clipped it together here just to kind of make it hang a bit better hang on okay so I'm just making sure the shoulders are sitting properly and I'm just checking the length of my project bag here because the yarn is still attached so I think this is long enough I'm quite happy with this length so I might just do a couple more rows and then cast it off and then knit the button band before I do the sleeves just so I can check the fit properly and make sure I'm happy with it it is Monday and my how much can I knit in a week is over I didn't film yesterday so I'm going to catch you up on how much I knitted on Saturday and Sunday so let's do Saturday first on Saturday I knitted for three hours and 15 minutes we didn't do a lot on Saturday we stayed home for most of the day or we stayed home all day I think very quiet weekend so I got a lot of knitting done on Saturday I mostly knitted on my cardigan on Saturday so let me show you what I knitted um on my cardigan it's difficult to show let me just find the right place okay so I knitted from the yellow marker to the blue marker so that was quite a lot so I that's two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen 6, 20, 30, 32, 34 rows. 34 rows, so that's a lot. I was quite pleased with that knitting. I can't remember when I knit anything else on Saturday. I don't think I did. Yesterday, I did knit on something else. So, uh, yesterday, Sunday, we went to church with my father in law um, in the local village. I haven't been to church since before the pandemic we used to go to church regularly before the pandemic and we just haven't gotten back into it so simon's been going with his dad recently i went yesterday because it was easter so when we uh, left church we went to my father-in-law's and we had a drink there before we went home so i finished my um the first sock that i knitted for simon so i finished the number of rows i wanted to do on the leg I needed a sewn needle to do the uh, stretchy sewn bind off so um or sewn cast off and i didn't have that with me so i didn't do that so when i got home i did the cast off so the first stock is finished let's find a let's find a um sock blocker and put it on because it's ribbed all the way it just doesn't look great um unless you stretch it so let's just do that so that's what it looks like i'll talk more about that in the podcast this week um and then i cast on for stock number two and i knitted the toe and i started the rib so that's all kind of done and established so when we go out later I, so if we go in and have a drink anywhere i can do a bit of knitting so that's coming out with me today and then i also yesterday so the number of hours i knitted yesterday was five and a half hours five and a half hours um so I finished this. Um, I'm just thinking, did I do that on Saturday? Or did I do that on Saturday? No, I must have done this yesterday. I don't know why that marker is, a yellow marker, uh, green marker is there. Anyway, I finished the body. I did a um, Icelandic cast off. And then I picked up all the stitches for... The, this is difficult to show you because it's all kind of it's a lot of stitches so I basically picked up stitches all the way around for the button band and I'm knitting that all in one go so I'll show you at the back because that's easiest to see probably so those rows I've done is the ones from the purple so I've done um which side is it two four five four or five rows five rows um I think I'm probably going to do like 14 rows I think but I haven't quite decided yet 
um, I need to decide when I'm going to do the buttonholes first. So I've got a lot of stitches on here. I um, can't remember how many, but I think I've worked that last night. It was like over five, nearly 550 stitches. So the rows are long. I'm glad it's got to stitch. So I have, um, when I started that, I had just under 60 grams left of that yarn. So I'm doing the button band in that yarn, and then I'm probably going to have to stripe the sleeves. I'll see how much I got left after the button band and then see how much one round of the sleeves takes me at uh, uses and then try and work it out. I do have several mini skeins left. Well, I have those two. Oh, I got four mini skeins left. So I should have plenty of the sleeves, but yeah, this cardigan has taken more yarn than I thought it would. Uh, I can't remember what my plan was, whether I planned for it to have sleeves or not, because I didn't make a lot of plans. Anyway, this is now living in my Janie Crow um, project bag, which I talked about on the podcast last week. Um, I think I'm going to make these handles a bit shorter because they're quite long. I This is a bit bigger than my uh, Hohe leather bag, so I moved it over because I was struggling to get into the Hohe bag. So in total last week I knitted for, let me just make a check my notes, 23 hours and 14 minutes. Uh, last summer when I tried this uh, challenge I knitted for 18 hours and 28 minutes um, which is an average of 2 hours and 38 minutes a day. So this time I did 23 hours and 14 minutes which is an average of 3 hours and 27 minutes a day. So nearly an hour, 45 minutes longer per day than I did last year. Got off the slow start. Monday was two hours. Tuesday was two hours and 30 minutes. Wednesday was three hours and three minutes. Thursday was three hours. Friday was four hours and 21 minutes. Saturday was three hours and 50 minutes. Sunday was five hours and 30 minutes. So I would have said before I did this challenge last summer that my average amount of time I knit every day would have been like probably like four to five hours that would have been my guess um but when i pause every time i pick up my phone or every time i get out of my chair to go and do something it turns out that i don't knit for that long two hours two hours and 30 minutes earlier in the week monday and tuesday is not good enough as this is my job i really need to knit for longer than that every day um i probably need to be hitting like four to five hours of knitting time every day especially when i have deadlines um so it's quite interesting to do this challenge because it shows how much how much time I think I sit down and knit when I'm actually not knitting. I'm scrolling on my phone or I'm doing social media. I, you know, some of it is just me scrolling because I can't bother to do anything else. Some of it is me doing social media for my business. Um, so every time I pick up my phone, it's not just to mindlessly scroll, although there is some of that going on. But sometimes it is because I need to post a reel or a picture or a post of some sort on social media i need to reply to questions i need to comment on things so some of it is me doing my job i had decided i would try and beat my time from last year so i did deliberately try and knit faster this week uh, because i wanted to beat mess what i did last uh, year and i did by quite a lot so i'm very very pleased with that so i knitted uh four and a half hours more yeah i knitted about four and a half hours more in total over the week than I did last year. Also, obviously, this week has included three uh, days off. So Friday, Saturday and Sunday, because uh, Friday is a bank holiday. And I haven't been teaching this week and I haven't been away anywhere. So that also makes it easier. If I'm teaching, then I have a whole day where I don't do any knitting during the day. Apart from, obviously, what I do during the workshop to demonstrate, which I wouldn't count. When we have a weekend like this where I don't go out very much on Saturday and Sunday, although I did go out yesterday, I still got a lot of knitting done yesterday. I was slightly surprised when I looked at my timer at the end of the day. So I think this has been an interesting exercise to do again. I might do it again later in the year, maybe in the autumn, when I have a week where I'm teaching a workshop in a week. Um, autumn is really, really busy when it comes to workshops. Maybe I'll try and do it a week in the autumn where I'm very busy and see how that affects my knitting output. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Let me know how much you think you knit per day and how much you actually knit per day. Have you ever timed yourself? Uh, so I just put the timer on my phone. Every time I stopped knitting, I paused it. And then when I started knitting again, I pressed uh, record again. So that's how I did it. Um, and yeah, it was quite interesting. I discovered a few new things. So thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know what you think of this video. Did you like it? 
are you surprised at how much I knit? Do you think I don't do I not knit as much as you thought I would? Uh, and let me know how much you think you knitted and how much you actually knitted there if you timed yourself. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. And I'll be talking more about this project and the socks in the podcast on Thursday this week, uh, which I'll be recording tomorrow. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.